Sorry, I'll do the rest of the video without the ring on. So anyone that knows me knows that I'm a pretty big nerd. I mean, I do make YouTube videos, so that should be pretty obvious. I just happen to love anything fiction-based, especially sci-fi movies, and I think it's because that they allow our imaginations to run free, and they bring us to a place that's just way more interesting than real life. But recently I discovered that there's some places that we've been shown in sci-fi movies and even cartoons that exist in real life. So of course I collected the coolest ones to share with you guys, so here they are. 10 fictional places that actually exist. Number one is the Ewok Village. Star Wars fans, get ready for a major nerd boner. The famous Ewok Village from Return of the Jedi actually exists and it's located in Costa Rica. Uh, minus the Ewoks. This treetop community is called Finca Bella Vista and spans 300 acres of rainforest. It's connected by wooden bridges and zip lines just like in the movie. Man, it is amazing where George Lucas got all the inspiration for Return of the Jedi. Like Jabba the Hutt, Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, Okay, I know that timeline doesn't work, but it doesn't matter, it smokes crack. Number two is the Flintstones house. Everyone and their mother knows about the classic cartoon, the Flintstones, but what they might not know is that the house that they lived in actually exists in the real world. Located in Malibu, California, this $3.5 million bungalow used to be owned by Dick Clark and has an entirely stone-inspired look from top to bottom. Damn, this would be worth buying just for the pickup lines. You know, baby, I may not be Fred Flintstone, but I can still make your bed rock. Bedrock was the name of the city in the cartoon. It's kind of an old joke. You, you might not want to use that one. Number three is Tatooine. There's a city in southern Tunisia that shares the same name as the planet that Luke Skywalker was raised on. But it's not just the name that they share. The local homes and businesses there were actually put in the Star Wars movies as external locations for the Lars homestead where Luke grew up. You might recall this location. Well, that is the Hotel City Driss, a real hotel in Tunisia. And now that I've said that, if you listen closely, you can hear the faint click of keyboards as nerds everywhere book their flights to Tunisia. Oh, well, I was going to bring you with me. Number four is Middle Earth. The inspiration for Middle Earth in Lord of the Rings came from where the author J.R.R. Tolkien grew up in England. Isengard is based off the University of Birmingham. The Shire is based off the hamlet where he grew up called Sarhol. And Mordor was based off an area called Black Country. It was called this because the air and ground were black due to the pollution from iron foundries, steel mills, and coal mines there. Personally, I've always wanted to know who inspired Gollum. I mean, look at the guy. I feel bad for him. He's got like barely any scraps of hair left on his head. It's a <laughs> it's sad. Number five is Silent Hill. Centralia, Pennsylvania is the real life ghost town that inspired the movie Silent Hill. Once home to a thousand residents, this town is now deserted after the strip mine under it caught fire, which is still burning to this day 50 years later. The directors actually visited the town and were inspired by the fact that it was burning from the inside out as if it were sitting atop the gates of hell. But we all know hell isn't really there. No, it's at the DMV. I really hate that place. Number six is Canyon City. Remember the stone city where they discovered the Holy Grail in Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade? Well that is the city of Petra and it is quite real. Located in Jordan, it's one of the most remarkable examples of rock cut architecture in the world featuring a theater, a bank, a church, and even a water system. And this all sounds impressive, but how exactly do you perform plumbing on a rock water system? There's no joke there, that, that's an actual question. Number seven is the Emerald Bamboo Forest. In the movie Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, there's a sword fight above a beautiful forest of bamboo trees. These beautifully green forests actually exist just outside of Kyoto, Japan, and are said to be even more gorgeous in person. Some of these forests stretch across massive areas covering hundreds of hills and valleys. And before you get too excited about hearing the words Emerald Forest, I should tell you that I looked into it, and they don't have any hedgehogs, rings, or flying supervillains. I know. I was disappointed too. Number eight is Arkham Asylum. If there was ever a place in the real world that Batman would imprison the supervillains that he captures, it would be the Danvers State Hospital in Massachusetts. Built in 1874, it became the inspiration for Arkham Sanitarium in the fictional stories of H.P. Lovecraft, which in turn became the inspiration for Arkham Asylum in the Batman universe. The hospital bears a striking resemblance to Arkham Asylum, complete with ominous structures, long creepy tunnels, and decrepit patient quarters. It's too bad they never had a dentist on staff. Well, Batman could have made a quick stop off. Could have got that nasty lisp fixed. Number nine is Paradise Falls. If you've seen the movie Up, you'll remember a scene where Carl comes across an impossibly beautiful waterfall. Well, some crafty internet sleuthing has found an almost identical waterfall in Venezuela called Angel Falls. And that's not all. Even Carl's house was based on a real house in Oakland, California. And what's even more amazing is Carl is real. Look at him. Look at that old man. That's Carl. 
I just want to pinch his cheeks. And number 10 is the Roslyn Chapel. You might recognize the name of this church from the book The Da Vinci Code. Interestingly, not only is the chapel discussed in the book real, but the story of the Holy Grail being hidden there is borrowed from the real life legend that says the same thing. The chapel is located in the very small town of Roslyn, Scotland, which I think is really interesting because there isn't a whole lot of mystery that comes out of Scotland. I mean, especially with the kilts that the men wear. If you ever seen one bend over, you'll understand why the attire doesn't leave any mystery. Jiggly bits everywhere. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to add me to Facebook and Twitter, the links to those will be on screen and in the description along with all my other social networking sites. And other than that, I will see you guys next Saturday with a brand new video. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching my new video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I release a new video every Saturday. And while you're at it, click the like button and share this on Facebook, Twitter, whatever you want. It's all appreciated. And other than that, I think I know where my next vacation destination is going to be. I want to go to Costa Rica because not only do I get to see the Ewok village, but, you know, it's warm, which is important because there's a lot of snow on the ground right now. And I live in Canada. It's so cold.